Welcome to FX Street. Today we're going to talk about CRO or crypto.com and talk about where, how high it can go from here and where its near-term support structure is at and if there's any risks up ahead as far as further upside potential. Uh, but before we dive into the technicals, make sure that you come over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button and follow us on our new uh, crypto Twitter account at FXS Crypto, where you can be updated to the hottest trends in the crypto market. That is it for that intro. So let's take a look here at CRO. It's had a really nice move up here. You know, last week, uh, or actually in the beginning of the month, talked a little bit about, and in late January, talked a little bit about the threat to further upside potential due to this hidden bearish divergence. And that in order for this hidden bearish divergence to be invalidated, the uh, uh, price action would need to form a close that was above this peak, which it has done. So Another nice bullish thing going on here, Ichimoku wise, is that the uh, Chiku span has returned above the bodies of these candlesticks and now it is an open space. So that is a precursor to uh, a very expansive uh, uptrend. The only thing missing here for an ideal, <coughs> excuse me, not COVID, it's just drying my office, for an ideal bullish Ichimoku breakout is a daily close above the cloud, which Today, that would mean that we need to close around 70 cents, and that's eh, not saying that can't happen. Wow, my cat is mad. <laughs> it's not saying that can't happen, but um, it certainly it certainly uh, uh, is not likely to happen today. And there is a significant amount of resistance up here in that 50 cent range. But you know, because it's a little bit of a, uh, a big kind of cluster mess up here, the point figure chart really gives a little bit more context. And what's really nice about this, this chart here is that this is the one cent three box reversal chart. It shows that CRO has converted into a bull market, broke above that bear market trend line. And, and in point and figure, you know, depending if you're unfamiliar with this chart style and depending on your normal, uh, if you use candlestick charts, um, it, point and figure, you are always in a bull market or a bear market. And so depending on the time frame you usually, you know, uh, trade on or you do your analysis on, it may seem like point figure charts convert bull and bear infrequently or frequently. But currently it is in a bull market because it broke above that bear market angle. And we're looking at the first pullback since that conversion. And in point figure analysis, the first pullback is viewed as a sign of strength. And this particular pattern itself <coughs> is a pull pattern and the entry here is going to be off of the three box reversal of this column of O's. So at the present time of this recording, that would mean that the entry would be at three boxes above the last O, which would be at 52 cents. And the vertical profit target on that would be up at 73, which is Getting into that zone that we talked about it, probably not getting to. Is it likely to trigger at 52 and then move all the way up there in one fell swoop? No, not very likely. That's why a two to three box trailing stop is a good idea. It helps protect any implied profit that is made post entry. Four box stop, target up at 73. And as it moves lower, the entry and the stop loss, they move in tandem. So if, for example, CRO were to travel down to 45, the three box reversal would be at one, two, three, it'd be at 48, and the uh, the uh, stop loss would be at 45. As far as downside risks are concerned, they should be limited to a couple zones, and you can see those more clearly on the candlestick chart. Uh, so on the daily chart here, we so with the 2022 volume point of control is at 46 cents. That is just above the daily Tenkin Sen, which is at 45 and a half cents. And the 50% fib retracement is, is at 40 is at 44.5 cents. So really any 45 to 46 cents, that should be a very strong support zone. If it does come down to test that below that, you have the Kijin Sen at 42. Um, and if it does travel below there, that's likely to be a that definitely any any further bullish outlook will uh, probably be terminated if it if it has a daily close below 40 cents because that will that will confirm a a bear flag setup and and uh, likely generate some strong selling pressure that will likely create some new uh 2022 lows uh but for right now that's what i see that does it for me cro.com Please uh, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter.